You know, I've always just jumped at opportunities to, to help young people who have ideas and energy and want to do things in life uh, because there were people who helped me. And um, we've tried to do that with a number of other young entrepreneurs and um, we think that's part of this legacy thing. I mean, I, I'm excited about this whole idea of trying to create a legacy in our community where the entrepreneurs, the business people help others and try and help to grow uh, others in the community. I think, um, you know, this whole idea that uh, Michael, um, and I met Michael, I don't know how long, 10 years ago or, or so, and uh, he's just been on this journey to, to help us to hang in there, to help us to grow. Um, and I, I think if each one of us does that, uh, there's some good things that's going to happen in our community. And um, it's been just a pleasure. I, you know, sometimes people say to me, how can you work so hard? How come you put so much time in, so much energy in? Um, it doesn't feel like work. It uh, feels like, you know, and, and, and maybe part of that is because my family's right there with me. And I've got uh, most of them sitting here at the table uh, who are, they're involved in all kinds of capacities. Uh, you know, I've got a daughter that's a director of nursing in our facilities in RN, uh, advanced degree. She could be doing a thousand other things but uh, she wants this thing to succeed. I've got, you know, my wife is just constantly uh, encouraging me and supporting me, and so I think the idea of a family involvement in a business really does help, um, and it's just been a fantastic journey. I, I think my mom and dad would be very proud of how we've continued this thing. Um, first, I'd like to thank Marsha McAbee Michael Obie and the Urban League for this honor and for honoring uh, Tony Smith. Uh, it's special to be honored by your own, right? Because you all know the challenges and the joys of owning a black business. And we own a black business. <laughs> we have about 450 employees and they are black. They live in the city, they live in the s suburbs, but they are an integral part of the community. And we could not do what we do without those employees. And frankly, I could not do what I do without my family. Uh, Taylor was here later, but Tony's here, Lauren is here, and they make me laugh every day. So um, as we continue the legacy that Tony laid out, he had a couple of North Stars, and we're still following those. Family, friends, faith, community. And if we follow those, four, those stars, we have followed them and we continue to be successful because of family, faith, friends, and the community. So I'd like to thank all of you all here tonight for coming out because I know you had something else you could have done on a Tuesday. And as I look over this audience, I see many of his friends who are still my friends who continue to uplift us and inspire. And I've known Mel Pye, who I, where's Mel? Mel, Mel, go, Mel and I go back in the attorney days. And uh, I, uh, who, Lonnie Coleman. So these are, and Mr. Til, Mr. Brown are people who inspire me. So again, thank you for coming out. Thank you for all that you have done for me and my family and our community. And thank you for eating that chicken at Popeye's. <laughs> If there's anything I can do as an entrepreneur and as a business person to be able to help some of the young people come along, reach out. My phone is there. I always return my phone calls. Yes. Okay? Always return my phone calls. So I want to thank uh, the Urban League once again and you, Biz, for this recognition. We at Coleman Spawn <coughs> really, really appreciate the, the recognition. And we'll be here and continue to be here to do our part until the day that. We can't do it any longer, but thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So, so he wrote serious checks a couple of times, a few times, to invest in other black businesses. So I'm so happy and grateful for you. I'm you. proud to call you a big brother. I'm glad to uh, take that on. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound 
that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I, I see.